Hi, this is Denise from Paint a Party. I am going to do a quickie tutorial on how to load one stroke cakes. I've got both a tag and an arty cake here. Show you there's not much difference between the two. Um, the tag cake is beeswax based and it's a little more absorbent as far as water. Um, arty cakes are actually smoother but that also makes them denser on top so you need a little bit more water control but honestly the method I'm going to show you works for both of them so let's start with the tag cake so obviously you want to clean off your brush but you submerge the bristles all the way in the water and then wipe them on the side of your water container if you have a round water container or you can't you know touch your brush like this because it might tip over all you have to do is load it and then tap it off on your towel okay and it'll give you the same thing so now you've got the right amount of water to load your brush because you only want as much water as you want paint for the amount of water equals the amount of paint so now you can see I've got my brush is loaded all the water has been activated I don't have any excess water on my cake and there's no bubbles you start to get a drag on your brush when there's no water to lubricate it and it's all paint now then it starts to actually drag and so you have good color separation and it's very pretty ball. okay so now let's do the same thing with the arty cake so I'm going to submerge my brush all the way in water make sure it's clean and then I'm either going to tap off the sides or come over and wipe off on my towel and load up the arty cake I've just noticed the arty cakes are a little more dense on top so you actually have to be more careful about getting excess water because it'll sit on top even more but they are smooth and creamy and they blend well so it just depends on what you like so I would choose by colors and what you want to do with the cakes between the two so now I've got my arty cake loaded okay good color separation but if you'll notice the arty cakes are blending a little bit better because they are cre made out of creamier paints so this is kind of a brighter you see the color separation more this blends a little better okay so now what do you do if you have too much water so let's see I, I, I just go in the in the water and I just dip it in and I got way too much water at the bottom okay so you can see how it's pooling out and I've got way too much on my brush still so what I do is I usually turn the cake over wipe out my brush there's still a little bit of paint in there but just not the excess and then I just go back in and so now you've lessened the water so there's not all the excess paint it's still clean because you didn't sit there and try to muddy it with the extra water because you stopped right away and now you can load it and go on okay so what if you're in the middle of a design and you need some more paint uh, you don't dip you don't have to dip all the way back in you can just come back in touch the bristles barely to the water so that you only activate you just picked up just like an eighth of an inch of water so now you can come back in and get some more paint and it's just enough to f finish off your flower or finish up your butterfly or whatever you need to finish off you don't have to dip all the way in but you can dip all the way in reactivate the paint and keep it from the brush from separating by just dipping in like that without swishing around in the bottom of the thing and then I'll just tap off again so we're back to where we begin we save a lot of paint because basically all we have to do again is come in and take a few strokes maybe like four more strokes and we can get a whole other flower out of that and by using that method you can keep your brush activated and have like one brush for rainbows without having to rewash it every time so now I've dipped it, I've reloaded it, I made a flower all I have to do is come back in and touch the tip 
and reload it until the brush actually starts getting dry again. So now I can do a whole other flower just by touching the tips to the water. Okay. And they still stay true. They don't get muddy. But if I want to again, I can dip all the way in, come back out, wipe on the sides, and I still have the color separation and I can go back in. So as long as you don't cross your colors, like I do sometimes. Oh, here's a good example. I've got too much water in there now. Tap off, wipe off. I can go again. And I still have color separation. I hope that helps. And I hope it help like speed up the one stroke stuff that you do and keep it from flooding every time. Thanks.